My name is Jean Meyer and I've been a nurse for 40 years and a family caregiver for 20. I founded Partners on the Path to help organizations recognize and respond to the hidden costs of caregiver stress. I'm delighted to be here today with Nancy O'Toole, founder of Live at Home Seniors. We're going to be talking about self-care for caregivers and we hope that this discussion will be useful to you. Welcome back, Jane. Thank you. Glad to be here. We're delighted to have you. Our caregivers are starting to ask uh, more specific questions about self-care. Um, so what they really want to know about now is, I feel so exhausted. What can I do? And I think about that as, you know, my gas gauge, I, I see the E and it's empty. I think about exhaustion. and mm -hmm. So what can, what can we as caregivers do about that? Talk specifically to our caregivers and give them some advice. Well, you know, when, when you drive, you keep an eye on the gas gauge. And so when you're a caregiver, you need to keep an eye on yourself. There will be signs of exhaustion that will warn you that you're using up your tank. Look for things that are physical, like being overly tired, having a difficult time sleeping, having aches and pains, and, and illnesses crop up. Uh, look for mood changes um, that signal that you're more frustrated, uh, more short-tempered, uh, more blue or sad than usual. Uh, look for social indicators where you pull away from people and you just can't stand being with certain folks anymore. Or, or look for um, mental signs that you can't focus or, or stay um, with a task in, or get enjoyment from a task that you usually do. So look for those signs. And when you see these signs, pull your car off to the side of the road. Take a break. Refill your tank with energy to continue uh, caring. Uh, don't minimize the signs that you see. Um, figure out what would be pleasurable, what would be enjoyable, what would allow you to relax. People and pastimes and places that fill you back up go there for replenishment. And then finally, if you find that you have already run out of gas, in other words, if you've developed some kind of illnesses, do something to take care of your health. Visit your health provider. Returning to wellness will replenish your energy. And then when you're well again, commit yourself to living in a more balanced and healthy way as you go forward with your caregiving. Thank you so much, Jay, for those great tips. So what I learned today is that if I feel so exhausted, what I can do is recognize those warning signals mm -hmm. and then refill regularly so that I don't run out. That's exactly right. Thank you so much. You're welcome.